Okay, now I started talking to you today about coterminal angles and how to convert angles from degrees to radians and radians to degrees. I've also sent a copy of the unit circle out to you, so you should have that on Edline. Uh, so let's go ahead and just do a little bit of review. Now from your homework on page 862, you are supposed to, uh, let's see here, let's do some coterminal angles here. Um, let's look at number 15. Number 15, we have a 70 degree angle and it tells us to give, I believe, two angles that are coterminal, one positive and one negative. So what I'm gonna do is draw the angle in standard position. So the terminal side will lie here. And then we know it's going to be 70, just a little less than 90 degrees. So there's my 70 degree angle. So we're going to draw a negative angle. If you remember, negative angles will go counterclockwise. And the way we're going to find the degree of that angle is by saying 360 degrees minus the 70 degrees that we have in here already. So we're going to take that, those two and subtract them and we should come up with 290 degrees or rather negative 290 degrees. So there's my negative angle, negative 290 degrees. Now I'll need to find a positive coterminal angle. So a positive coterminal angle will go one complete rotation plus another 70. Remember they all share this terminal side. So with this one we're going to say 360 plus 70 and with that one we should get 430 degrees. So that would be two positive coterminal angles. Now also, if we will look at number 23, we want to convert 40 degrees to radians. Now remember, I always said it's going to be pi over 180 or 180 over pi, and whatever you want to eliminate should go in the denominator. Well, I want to get rid of the degrees. So we're just simply going to put it over 180. So our answer here is going to be 4 pi over 18, and of course we would reduce that down to 2 pi over 9. So it's going to be 2 pi over 9 radians in this case. And then let's just take, take a look at number 13. I have 14 pi over 15, and we want to convert that to degrees. So this time the pi radians will go in the denominator. So I'm going to see if 15 will go into 180. And it will, 12 times. Okay, and then we want that to, to eliminate or to cancel out. So now we're going to say 14 times 12 equals 168 degrees. And that would be my answer for that one. Um, also, we did not get to arc measures. So if you'll look in your books at the bottom of page 861, let's talk about sectors of circles. Okay, so here in our sector of circle, let's talk about actually what it is. We have a circle here, then we have two radii. We had this as our arc here, okay? And then everything that's highlighted on the inside here, this would be called our sector of our circle. And then this right here from here to here would be my arc length, okay? And then the formula for finding the arc length is S. I know that doesn't really sound like it should represent an arc length. It's going to be equal to the radius times theta, and theta is your angle. And then...